Hi everybody, we're here live from Nexus 2012 with DJ Grothy, president of the JREF, host of For Good Reason Podcast. Welcome. I can't tell if you're shaking my hand or gesturing, but uh, <laughs> it's been a fantastic weekend. Nexus Northeast uh, Conference on Science and Skepticism, it's been a blast. This is a lot of great energy, great program. They really run a tight ship and know how to do it right here. Um, so yeah, you're talking to some of the vendors, some of the people at the event. Yeah. Well, we're talking to all the people at the event, and let me tell you folks, coming from the guy who organizes TAM, mm. that's quite a nice compliment for this organization to be getting. Right. Well, it's, uh, I was a little chagrined with, uh, when someone very close to TAM whispered in my ear last night at a cocktail party reception, my gosh, this is almost as good as TAM. So I'm like, don't say that. But indeed it was. It was so good. This is a fantastic event. Now, you were on a panel yesterday talking about a critical thinking in education. Right. So uh, talk a little bit about what the JRIF has been doing in that regard. Well, you asked just like we rehearsed. Good. Uh, so uh, the James Randi Educational Foundation, we take uh, skepticism seriously, but we don't only want to talk to self-identified skeptics about skepticism and critical thinking. We want to uh, talk to others who care about the general idea, even if they're not self-identified, even if they're not plugged into the, in quotes, movement of skeptics. So we're developing uh, educational modules for the classroom. Imagine uh, uh, a, maybe in junior high or a high school uh, teacher uh, doing a, a curriculum experiment, uh, an experience for children, uh, their, their students, where they explore the paranormal to teach critical thinking. So our goal with these modules, of these curriculum modules, is not to debunk belief, but to use the investigation of the paranormal to uh, learn about methods of uh, scientific inquiry, uh, critical thinking skills, and uh, these modules are attached to national science content standards and AAAS science literacy benchmarks are addressed in various modules. We have one on the Cottingley Ferries, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, or dowsing where students get together and in a uh, teacher-led uh, experiment actually create their own dowsing rods, get to experience firsthand the idiomotor effect. It's the idiomotor effect, not the idiot motor effect, uh, even though uh, uh, some of the credulous in uh, dowsing, the people who really believe in dowsing, might be dismissed sometimes as overly credulous. And then the experiments are tied to real-world impacts. So dowsing might seem trivial if you're just talking about someone in the backyard water witching or trying to find oil or something. Uh, but when the idiomotor effect and uh, essentially glorified dowsing rods are used as bomb detectors in theaters of war in Iraq, uh, there are real world consequences. If you're using a fake dowsing rod to supposedly find bombs at a bomb checkpoint, people will die. So uh, our teaching modules for students uh, aim to connect the experiments with real world impact and really to, dis to discuss the harm of undue credulity, but also not in a heavy handed way. We don't want to go in and tell people, uh, students, why they're wrong to believe X, Y, or Z, but instead present some evidence and let them experiment and come to their own conclusions. So more of a how to think, not necessarily what to think. Indeed, well said, and that's what we uh, care about. Process, not just content. Uh, at the JREF, we don't teach people astronomy or biology. We uh, talk a lot about science, but really the spirit of scientific inquiry as a way to look at evidence and evaluate claims. So we don't say, uh, as an example, uh, there is no such thing as ESP. Instead, we ask a question, do you have ESP? And this uh, teaching kit allows for students uh, to actually conduct an experiment uh, based on uh, J.B. Rhine's experiments at Duke University, middle of last century, using Zener cards, and uh, work out the statistics to figure out if supposed psychic ability is uh, evidence of psychic ability, is it greater than chance, how to avoid uh, the pitfalls of false negatives, also false positives, and uh, really figure out for themselves uh, what the evidence is for psychic powers and uh, come to their own conclusions. So yes, indeed, not heavy handed. We don't want to propagandize with a sort of skeptic statement of non-beliefs. We want to uh, 
create a space where students can investigate these claims themselves, come to their own conclusions. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And if people want to find out more about what you guys are doing, it's randy.org, correct? Randy.org, and we uh, also have one of the most uh, subscribed YouTube channels. Uh, you can find a lot of information on YouTube, and we have other digital media, podcasts, smartphone apps, all sorts of stuff like that. Forgoodreason.org is our interview show. So it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you very much. Great.